with Sub Wizard Podcast. Over this past weekend, I got to go and see Brad Pitt in Ad Astra. Absolutely phenomenal movie. One of the best I've seen this year, if not the best. Probably one of the most realistic, at least feeling, depictions of space in any movie. Anyway, I'm going to focus on just one aspect of the movie, which is all spoilers. I'm going to talk about the end of the movie. Do not listen to this if you have not yet seen Ad Astra and you plan to, because I'm going to spoil everything about it and pose some theory. Alright, you've been warned. Go see Ad Astra, then come back and watch this. So in the end, when Brad Pitt finds his father, Tommy Lee Jones, he has this huge character change, which is very well done. We don't need to question any part of that because that's the entire point of the movie. Stick with me here. What if when Brad Pitt got there, Tommy Lee Jones was no longer alive? His father was no longer alive. What if space drove him mad or he died after he killed the crew? Maybe he starved to death. Who knows? But we get this very reasoned, very real, very sane conversation between the protagonist and his father when we were also just shown that as Brad Pitt was going for his much briefer stint of time, it was already messing with his head. It could be a couple things. It could be, did Brad Pitt know his father was dead when he got there and what we were shown was kind of went on inside his head. It was how he made peace with everything and then let his father go and then return to Earth to become a new person? Or did he get there and he was not in his right mind and he thought he was having this conversation and everything and when he had his personal revelations it was time to let go? I'd have to re-watch the movie, which I definitely plan to, to see if there's anything more pointing to this theory. It could just be an example of what you see is what you get and exactly what we were shown is exactly what happened, which is completely fine because it's a great movie and there's nothing to say it couldn't go down that way. But I can't think of anything specifically that made it so it couldn't go down the way I'm theorizing now. And there was things like Brad Pitt talking about going crazy on his journey. They don't really follow up with that. So was it introduced just to try to make it more real? Or was it introduced to let us know, hey, if this guy was alone for X amount of time and this happened, someone was alone for even longer, what would happen to them? Many times throughout Brad Pitt's very long journey across the solar system, he has to encounter death. And when he does, we get a very similar shot of the bodies being put out into space for kind of the astronaut's funeral. And that's very similar to the shot we get at the end when his father's character decides he's not going home, decides that's that's how he's going to end things, is he's going to stay out in space, he's going to stay where he wants to be, essentially. Was that really him wanting to be there, or was that Brad Pitt trying to bring his father's body back after coming to grips with who he now wants to be and not who he thought he should be his whole life. And very literally and figuratively letting go. Let me know what you think. Something I've been playing around with in my head, as I said, it's it's a very deep movie. It has a lot of nuances to it. It's a great character piece. I definitely want to see it again, and I want to see it again to see if this theory holds any water. Let me know what you think. Drop me a line in the comments. Drop us a line on social media. All the accounts can be found after the show. Thanks for taking this ride with me. Be sure to check out SoWizardPodcast.com for reviews, recommendations, merchandise, and more. Also, be sure to listen to SoWizard Podcast wherever you get your podcasts every single week. Check out SoWizard Podcast on Patreon, where you can monetarily support the show for bonus content. And uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm working on new series. We're going to have a ton of New York Comic Con coverage. The whole Soul Wizard podcast crew is going. Thanks.